could you start off by telling us a little bit about what it is that iVox does? So iVox is a call tracking and analytics company. Uh, we do provide a technology to all our customers to understand a bit more about their leads, their phone leads, but not only. So this is a technology which is used by many industries and we have a real expertise in industries such as um, real estate, property, um, classifieds or uh, car dealer, uh, automotive marketplaces basically. <laughs> okay, and uh, what's your role at iVox and how long have you been working for the company? So I joined iVox uh, more than 10 years ago now. It's been a long time. And when I joined I know, iVox, I never never heard in the, uh, before that about code tracking technology, which uh, was for me a total discovery because um, when uh, before that I was in other companies and had professional experiences and I also was in a business school and we studied ROI and marketing tools, but at no time we, I heard about uh, code tracking technologies and I was really impressed. So uh, when I joined the company, I was in charge of developing the French market and uh, so I went after some prospects in France and started uh, speaking about uh, code tracking and really introducing them to the technology because I discovered that I wasn't the only one uh, who never heard about code tracking technology. And that generated very interesting conversation and discussions um, and helped us also to understand what were the new needs on the market and how to make sure that we envision the good, uh, the good product, basically the good way for our product to evolve. Uh, that was uh, very exciting. And uh, since then, uh, basically, I was mainly in the commercial team and I was in um, sales and account management positions. It was great, allowed me to have very good conversation with customers, um, gathering all the uh, requests and also um, um, questions from our customers about our products and being able to uh, uh, provide them to our, uh, bring them to, uh, to our product uh, team, making sure that our products really reflect what, where the need of the market. Um, and now um, I joined um, as well. I, uh, I moved to a position of product evangelist. Um, and I think it was, uh, it really resonated with me, uh, this position, because basically it's making sure that our products match with uh, our customers' needs and bring your customer satisfaction on the table. Um, and that's really good. And basically, project evangelist, uh, the real meaning of this word is bringing the um, good news about the product we are building. So that's the position uh, uh, I am on now. Okay. And um, so something that our readers or our listeners would like to probably hear from you is, who are the main customers? Who have you worked with in the, in the classifieds industry? So we work with many big brands. So some of our customers are um, includes uh, Zoopla, Immobiliare, uh, REA. Uh, we work also with the automotive industry, with companies such as Auto Trader or La Centrale. Um, so we have a really good expertise in uh, in those uh, classified marketplaces industries. Okay, so right. Okay, yeah, some real big names in there. Okay, so you say you're a product sure. evangelist. Uh, which are the the products or the features that you're most evangelical about? Uh, maybe you can you can show us. <laughs> yes, definitely. So basically, we are working on different new products, uh, and those products came from feedback from customers. Basically, There's, there are some ideas we got from customers' feedback, and one of the one of the products we built we built was related to issues uh, of coverage in certain countries. So, for example, um, in Latin, Latin America, people are really interested in call tracking, but uh, the cost of renting local numbers is quite expensive, or in some countries, you cannot get a very full coverage. So the idea was for us to bring a solution which would allow them to still be able to track their leads without having to um, pay for numbers. And uh, we built up a product which is named WebConnect, and WebConnect is a WebRTC solution which allows the visitor of our customer's website to uh, call uh, directly uh, the advertiser through the website. So I'm going just to show you, share with you um, my screen and show you an example of how, on how it, it, it works, basically. Okay. Um, just one second. This is uh, a demo website. So as you can see, this is... Um, a demo page for a property uh, portal. And as you can see, there are like different uh, ads. I will just click on one to show you how it works. Uh, if I call, for example, so there are two options there. The first one is to call and the second one is obviously to send an email. And if I call, that will 
generate the call through the browser. Sorry. Transferring your call to the agent. So this is generating a call. The call is going to redirect to my mobile. I'm not going to answer. But basically, you can do whatever you want with the call you're generating in terms of rules. So for example, you can play a whisper or a little audio message to the person who is calling the other device. You can also play a whisper to the advertisers. So for example, okay. so the, whis the, the whisper is, is the what we just heard there. So the, the whisper is the whisper tells yeah. the user who it is that's calling before they before they actually receive the call. Yes, that's exactly okay. that. So if we're being connected, then we know that the lead is coming from the portal they are subscribing okay, to. Okay, understood. And, but you can do multiple things with this uh, nice button. So for example, if I click on this one, um, Thank you for your call. If you would like to book an appointment for a viewing, please press one. For other queries, you can include please a press two. And select the options, and that will go to the right, uh, basically, at the agents. But what is really interesting is that you can gather the analytics and know why, um, what button the, the what uh, button has been pressed by the uh, by the visitor. This is not all. This technology is really good also um, and allow our customer to uh, basically uh, add additional information. So they would know which ad, which listing has generated the call and then can also link it to the user session ID. So they will know which visitor has generated the call. So they can really go in depth in the analytics part and understand what's generating call and what is not. Okay, so as I understand it, you're essentially taking, well, apart from making things easier on the actual platform itself, in the back end, I as I understand it, what you're doing is kind of taking phone calls, which are by their nature quite sort of unstructured, and you're creating from them structured data, which can be searched and analyzed by, by a marketing team. That's, that's correct. So basically, uh, that will allow our customer really to understand a bit more about what's happening on their website. So you have a very good visibility on the website uh, when it's digital, when you know you will know where the visitor goes, where they came from, what keywords they taped in, etc. But as soon as they generate a call, which open quite often in the uh, real estate industry, um, then usually our prospect lose completely the visibility on what's happening. So we are here to bridge, really, to connect uh, the, mis the, um, the the digital part to the uh, to the voice part, uh, and we're trying to bring on the link which was missing. Okay, um, I, I like the look at that. Uh, it certainly makes things a lot easier. Uh, is it something? Is is this um, Web Connect? Is it something that you're seeing quite a lot of traction with with the portals at the moment? Yeah, this is something which is quite interesting. So there are different ways to use it, really. Um, the first way and the reason, one of the reasons why we built the solution was uh, when you don't really have a coverage or the numbers are very expensive, that's one of the good way um, to collect information and being able to gain visibility where you didn't have any. So the phone calls, basically. So in Latin America, the numbers are expensive. In Asia, it can be also quite complicated to get uh, numbers at the correct price. So at the correct price point. So it could be a very good solution in order to gain some visibility. We have also customers looking into the solution when, uh, for example, they have a, a private advertiser uh, section in their own portal. Um, why are they looking into this solution? It's basically um, when you have a private ad advertiser section in your portal, you have a lot of ads, a lot of ads. But usually, uh, like 80% of the time, the advertiser are non-paying customers. So they are just on the website. They're bringing a lot of um, traction to the website, but they're not paying to be on the website. And this is very, um, that could be very strategic for uh, customers to use this solution in order to gain visibility at, at a less expensive cost because they wouldn't have to write numbers. And what is good is that if they're generating calls, they will gain visibility and know what's happening with the calls. But if they don't generate calls, then it doesn't cost them much. <laughs> they will have some way for them to understand what's happening and try to do some A-B testing, generate more leads, but also potentially do some upsell and try to get some premium customers who are paying for additional options because they will gain Insights, we know what ad, are, what listing are working, why. Um, could also advise the customer and say, you, if you drop your cost by 10%, you might sell your car uh, 10 days before the uh, the planned date, etc. So you can really go far with the data. <laughs> okay, no, it, so, it all makes sense, certainly. Um, 
one of one thing that I wanted to ask you about, and for me, when I was uh, going through iVox yesterday and coming up with these questions, was kind of the elephant in the room. You guys, you deal with phone calls, right? I'm a millennial. Mm -hmm. I absolutely hate phone calls. I imagine I'm not the only millennial who hates phone calls. Um, is this a problem for you? And have you seen maybe fewer phone calls as a percentage of contact shop options with property portals? Or is that not fair to say? Is it, is it, <laughs> is it declining is what I'm saying? Uh, it's a harsh, to, it's a harsh question, sure. but I suspect it might be. <laughs> For a very short answer, no, we don't see a okay. decline. We see quite the opposite. So, of course, you will probably not do a phone call, uh, make a phone call if that's to buy a small item, something which is not very expensive. But if it is to rent or buy a place or if it's to buy a car, there are high value uh, products. And usually you don't spend money uh, on something like this without asking questions and making sure that's the right choice for you. So people call, tend to call, and we don't see any decline in the call. We see quite the opposite. Okay, fair enough. Um, there's one more question that I wanted to ask you. So we actually interviewed um, iVox's CEO uh, back in January, and he, he said something quite interesting. He said that we might be close or getting closer to the end of phone numbers, uh, and phone calls might soon be made through uh through other channels so i imagine he was referring to things like what you just showed me um your your web connect feature mm -hmm. how common is this now and what kind of potential do you think this technology might have not necessarily just in the classifieds industry but uh in general well having phone calls made well having basically a different way to communicate with uh, with professional is uh, something quite important we've seen it with covid I mean, we are not communicate, communicating the same way that uh, that we were communicate, communicating sorry, pre-COVID time, I think. Um, people used to uh, be at the office, having their landline numbers, their mobile numbers with them. Nowadays, we have many people who are working from home, such as I am right now. Uh, so we are probably going to communicate in different ways, but I still think that the voice is a really important part um, uh, of the communication of the future. It might not be through phone calls, uh, it might be through uh, WebRTC, like we I showed you right now with the WebConnect. Uh, we can see that Zoom calls are increasing dramatically while currently using Zoom calls uh, to do this interview. Um, so this is something we still need to connect with people even more, I believe, since we're working from home. Um, I think I never spent that much time speaking with my colleagues since, <laughs> since I'm working from home. So the voice is still there, but I think there will be different channels to 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 carry the voice on. 